rescue Liz, and in 12 days, Greg Underwood faces re-election for Commonwealth's attorney. Tonight, Andy Fox investigates what the arrest means for Underwood. Andy. Yeah, for many, the arrest is just shocking, not just because Underwood's the Commonwealth's attorney, but because voters are going to the polls to decide whether he's the right man to uphold the laws. Fortunately for Underwood, he's unopposed. But we found some voters who are now thinking twice about the Norfolk Commonwealth's attorney. We went to Commonwealth's attorney Greg Underwood's home. No one answered the door, but then this car showed up. The driver saw us and left. Hey, can you tell me about Mr. Underwood? But here's what candidate Underwood is dealing with. Even his own neighbors, so deeply disappointed in what he's accused of. She doesn't want to show her face or give her name, but just listen to what she says. As far as I'm concerned, I'm really disappointed because I was going to vote for him. Are you going to vote for him now? I doubt it. You don't think so? No. Underwood is blessed to be unopposed. No matter what happens, his name remains on the ballot and he will win the election. He is the Commonwealth's attorney and will remain so unless he resigns, which political insiders say will not happen. But he has a lot of damage to repair, even in his own neighborhood. You want to hear from him? Yes. And what do you want to hear from him? That he made a mistake and that he wouldn't do it again. But here's the big question. If Underwood does apologize, is that enough to win back this voter's confidence? I don't know. I don't think so, though. You're having a difficulty saying that because you hold him to a higher standard. Right. That's right. Yeah. Outside Underwood's office, we found attorney B. Thomas Reed, who knows Underwood and thinks he's done a good job. What do you think are the positive attributes he brings to the table? Experience. He's very competent and capable and a good administrator. Norfolk City Councilman and attorney and Underwood friend, Andy Protogiro, says Underwood must address what happened and quickly. And he has two weeks to try to get his good name back. With no that, opponent. Well, that's going to have to be, he's going to have to go to the citizens and explain what happened, explain. But it, he's going to win anyway. He doesn't need to do that. Well, you can't always say that. There's always the opportunity that people will write in. Yes, that's right. A write-in campaign. That is what they are looking at. That's right, a write-in campaign will be an uphill fight, but there is already talk of candidates considering the write-in campaign against Greg Underwood. Tonight, only on 10, an interview with one of those who thinks Underwood must go, and this statement that came out from his office has nothing from Underwood in it. What that voter was waiting to hear from him, his explanation on exactly what happened. We'll have more coming up tonight on Wavy News 10 at 6. In the newsroom, Andy Fox, 10 on your side. We'll see you soon.